Hello, Leo. Welcome to your May 2024 reading. I hope that you are doing absolutely amazing. Uh, we are going to be doing a nine card spread. Once again, this is Groovy Gypsy Tarot 777. My name is Ocean. We are gonna be doing a nine card spread, which is my typical beginning of the month spread that I like to do. And then we will return to the six card spread on May the 7th for your reading on May the 7th. Now, although this is a uh, reading during a specific time frame, if you ever feel guided or drawn back to this reading at a later date, it could be your reading then, because it's really not time specific, if that makes sense. Five of Swords. No place like home. Reconciliation. Ooh, I love it. Okay. Wow. Well, this will be the reconciliation, the surprise, right? And so it's like, surprise, look who's back. Time to reconcile. Um, this could be you headed to reconcile with someone or someone coming to reconcile with you. But you're in this energy. You're in this energy of the Five of Swords and no place like home. It could be that um, you and a person ended things after a very, um, very harsh breakup. The Five of Swords, the Five of Swords comes around when there's a victory at a price, right? Somebody has to have the last word. And, you know, they absolutely cannot hold their tongue. They have to have the last word. And then two people are wounded and have to walk away from each other as a result of somebody being unable to contain their anger, frustration, etc., etc. right? Um, the Five of Swords in this particular deck seems to be a, a um, over, overwhelming sense of thoughts kind of, you know, plaguing this person where they want victory, they want to be on top of the world, but they don't really know how to get there. And so Leo, whether you have a Leo Sun, Leo Moon, Leo Rising, Leo Venus, it could be this energy of, of needing to needing to overcome, needing to rise up above some sort of difficulty, but you just can't figure it out because your mind won't slow down. Your mind won't stop. Your mind's ruminating. It's ruminating over something. No place like home tells me that you're very likely going to be in a strong sense of isolation for part of the month of May. That's okay. You may need that in the present moment. Now, you start off the month with this closed off energy, which we see here, right? This <laughs> introverted, leave me alone kind of vibe. Now, Leo, you could be walking, you could be walking away from a long term relationship because we have the Ten of Cups here. Um, we have a walking away energy and we also have this um, energy of, uh, you know, solitude and defensiveness, right? So it looks like in the beginning of the month or previously in April, you chose or you are choosing to walk away from a long-term committed relationship or some sort of love interest. You're like, okay, I'm out the door. I'm headed out. Now I need to find my own sense of peace. So I do see, I do see an ending. It could, could have happened in the past with it being in this left row. Um, and it could be happening this month. If, if you are getting ready to leave a situation, then that would be your energy right now. Does that make sense? Um, with the tower here, the tower could indicate this breakup. But I also feel like the tower is a reconciliation with someone else. 
So I feel like love is being left behind and love is coming in. Does that make sense? So whether you're moving towards someone else or someone else is moving towards you, I see, I see love is ending and a love is returning. Now, um, the page of cups is a, is communication. So there's some sort of communication and perhaps that's what's going on here. It's like, well, how do you communicate? How do you communicate love towards someone, right? Could be ruminating over what to say, ruminating over how to open up your heart. Um, there's a beautiful energy of obtaining a sense of emotional contentment as a result of love from the past, as a result from walking away from a particular situation. And perhaps you're walking away from a situation that was toxic and moving towards true love. That's possible as well with this 10 of cups. But we see a strong sense of grief is still going to be within your heart, Leo, as a result of whatever it is that you walked away from. So walking away from one person, although you're moving towards somebody who is exciting, there's, you know, there's a lot of uh, kind of a strong sense of emotions here. Although you're moving towards somebody that you feel this strong sense of emotional connection to, or, or someone's moving towards you with that energy, there's still heartbreak from what's being left behind. Um, so I see that there's going to be a need for you to really kind of dig deep into how you truly feel, how you truly feel about leaving whatever behind that was causing this sense of headache, this sense of betrayal, this sense of lies, deception, etc. is what we often see in the Five of Swords. Um, you know, will you be able to trust again with the new love that's coming in? Will you be able to move forward with this new love that's coming in, this returning love? Um, I think I'm going to take some more cards on this. You know, every time we get reconciliation, everybody wants to know what's going on. <laughs> So, and then I'll decide if I'm going to extend it or not based on whatever comes out. <laughs> All right, talk to me about the tower, please. The tower. Eight of Wands. Yeah, surprise communication coming in. Um... Surprise communication from a queen of wands or surprise communication to a queen of wands. So this is either you communicating to someone or someone communicating to you. Ten of wands. <laughs> wow. It's almost like the communication comes in at a time when you're stressed or you communicate with somebody during the time that they're stressed. So that's interesting because with the Queen of Wands, this is a uh, Leo, just so you know, the Queen of Wands is not Leo. Um, some people mistakenly say that it is because sometimes you see uh, lion imagery on here, but the Queen of Wands is actually Aries energy and Pisces. So it's Aries first and second deacon and uh, Pisces third deacon. The King of Wands, however, is Leo energy, just so you know. Um, the kings always represent fixed energy and you are a fixed sign. So we have this energy here of somebody very attractive, somebody very, um, you know, magnetic. That's either you or that's this person. And there's surprise communication coming in that's like coming in at a time of stress. Talk to me about the Ten of Wands. While you're in this place, while you're in hermit mode. nine of coins you may be focused on your work at the time that this communication comes in or they may be focused on work in fact this communication could come in while one of the two of you is at work 
um, is focusing on your finances. And so it may come in during a time when you're really, really stressed. You may want to communicate with them because eight of wands, that's exciting energy, right? But, but it looks like it'll be while, you, while you're working. <laughs> You'll either contact them while they're working or they'll contact you while, while you're working. Talk to me about the moon, please. The moon. A little bit of fear, anxiety, king of coins. It's a lack of trust of loyalty. Interesting. I mean, there's love here between you and this person, but there's a fear of, you know, can this person be loyal? Can this person persevere? Will this person give up on you? Will they still hold on to you? Um, they're coming forth with this sweet kind of low key message. And it's like, well, why is there a low key message when there's so much love between the two of you? Um, you know, maybe you're expecting it to be a little bit more. It looks like they're just kind of putting the feelers out though with the page of cups. Cause when we have the page of cups here, which is that message, right? Um, so it looks like this person is just kind of putting the feelers out with the page of cups. Like, Hey, how, how have you been? See, it's a page of coins. The feelers. How have you been? What's been going on in your life? Blah, blah, blah. You know, it's... But really, there's so much love here between the two of you with this ten of cups showing up twice. But you're in this... You're in a bad place when this all happens. Okay. That would explain the three of swords. So talk to me about the three of swords. We have a queen of swords that fell on the five of swords. Um, it could be that you were, um, you've been dealing with a um, very controlling woman. Five of swords, queen of swords would be somebody who um, rude, nasty, etc. Queen of swords is a great card, but not when it's paired with the five of swords. So just so you know. The sun, you might've been dealing with a fellow Leo, somebody with a strong Leo placement. Um, it could be that this person also tries to return at the same time, causing this sense of, you know, oh, why, why are you having to do, why are you dealing with this at the same time? Or it could have been that you may have left this situation. You're like, why are you back? Why are you back? All the grief. Knight of Wands. Notice where the Knight of Wands fell. It's like, let me get away from this queen. <laughs> let me get away from this mean one. Talk to me about the Three of Swords, please. Three of Swords. Okay, this is good. Eight, eight, eight of, eight of co Cups on the bottom, this is good. This is you, Leo, working very hard to um, overcome the sense of grief and loss and to you know, experience success in love. And so I feel like if you're moving towards somebody that you love, it's because you know you'll be successful there. You know that you'll be admired and you'll be treated right with the Six of Wands here and the Ten of Cups twice. Um, let's look at reconciliation. Whoa, a lot going on with that person that's being left behind. Reconciliation, two of wands. What action should you take? Okay. Yeah, see, look, you and this person totally did not see eye to eye. King of swords in the reverse, queen of swords with the five of swords. This is betrayal, this is lies, this is deception. Perhaps a lie has come, come to light and the lie that came to light um, may have been about a third party. Um, your partner could have been cheating on you, Leo. 
whoa i think that's spirit saying yes because <laughs> that's the three of swords that we had before so i feel like leo maybe somebody cheated on you um and you said yeah no no thanks out the door um that may be also why there's some fears here about opening yourself up emotionally to someone else. Um, definitely a lot of love between you and this person, right? But opening yourself up to the love that you have with this person could cause fear as a result of um, the betrayal. What other message do you have for Leo? Girl with a snake. Yeah. There it is. Narcissistic paradigm. Empath narcissistic paradigm. Being, char uh, being charmed or used boundaries you definitely had a oh wow you might be dealing with this right now because all of this energy is coming out so strong this may be what's happening in the month of may and then towards the end of the month comes the shocking movement forward either you communicate to somebody else or they communicate to you somebody that you love Any other messages for Leo? The snake again. Look at that. Girl with the snake and the snake. Wow. Enemy. Clever enemy. Look over your shoulder. The other woman. Somebody definitely cheated. Somebody definitely cheated. Um, if you are not dealing with this, Leo, then, you know, drop this reading right now and go check out your other birth chart placements. But keep this reading in the back of your mind in case you or somebody you know ends up going through this in May. Um, I'm going to leave this here. We're not going to go into an extended. Leo, you are reconciling with somebody that you have a lot of love for. Um... There's going to be kind of like this energy of, okay, what do you do? Do you allow yourself to trust or do you not? This is somebody you have a strong magnetic attraction to. And it's somebody that um, I feel the communication is going to start off with, hey, how, how have you been? I haven't talked to you in a while. Page of Cups. But there's a lot of love here. So stay hopeful if you're dealing with that other situation. Stay hopeful because there's positive movement forward in the future, okay? Love and light to you, dear Leo, and I'll talk to you again soon. Ta-ta for now.